Hi guys, today we're talking about the follow through or let's put it this way, to, to be able to think the swing backwards. I don't know if anybody of you has done that before. I've never seen anyone. And um, honestly, if I ask my students, you know, have you ever thought um, of that position, how you're supposed to be right after the impact? Pretty much everybody is just wondering and then just standing there and thinking, yeah, hang on. Um, so I hit the ball and then they have never ever made up their mind how they're actually supposed to stand after impact. So, just not to just to talk about it, I just want to show you how you're actually supposed to stand after the impact. And it doesn't matter if it's with your driver or if it's with your iron. Um, of course, you want to have the club face going towards the target line. Of course, you're turning away at some point, but just right after impact, you want to have the club face going towards the target, the, both arms are straightened, the left, the left side is completely straight, I'm talking about for, for the right-handers, of course, and the left shoulder is going upwards, backwards, right? So, I mean, I, I told you about the low point, the low point wants to stay, and you're just turning around your spine to the other side. But the main thing I want to talk about is your arm position, because if your issue or if your problem is that you're hitting or duffing the ball and you're extending your arms way too early, the early extension, maybe your pro has told you that before you're extending your arms too early, you need to have a solution. And I mean, my idea is to work the swing backwards. So if you know, you want to be here. Yeah, you know, you want to have the right shoulder lower. You want to have the arms there. How do you want to get there? Just bend your right arm and then just straighten it through the ball. And then you go bigger, you know? You just, you're here and you go through the ball and you throw your arms straight. And I mean, if you wanna do this, you automatically come in a better position of your body. I mean, then the right shoulder stays low, the right hand is low, the right hand doesn't wanna turn because that you will notice right away. So just to work the swing backwards from here, there. Straighten the left leg and then throw your arms towards the target line. I'm just gonna demonstrate you that. So. Okay, normal address position, and I'm really trying to extend my arms through the ball. So now I just go back, and this is how my arms were. <laughs> Optimum like this, right? But my arms were certainly straight through the ball. And this is also the reason why I could hit the ball first and then the ground and then I could go up. If your issue is that your arms are getting shorter, then you're really pulling your arms towards your body. This should be your mindset. You want to throw your hands or your arms through the ball towards the target line and straighten them. Of course, when you start doing this and you have the habit of hanging back a little bit, of course you can hit a little bit of the ground first, but then you have to work with this. You know, you have to work with this idea just to really throw the hands there. A good practice is also if you have a heavy ball and you want to throw that ball away, you will certainly not throw that heavy ball with pulling your arms towards you, right? You want to really make a long arm position through the ball. So the right arm is actually straightening through the ball. Okay? So the idea is to work the swing backwards, right? So don't always start from here, down there, just go from here up. And I'm sure if you really pay attention on your follow through, I'm 100% sure your impact and your ball um, impacts will certainly improve. And I have a wish, just try it out and let me know. Just write comments underneath and uh, let me know if you've ever tried it out or if you, when you've tried it out, what comes out. If you like that channel, just give me a thumbs up, um, subscribe my channel, follow me on Instagram and um, let's just keep in touch and have a good time practicing. See you soon.